Hi, uh, this is my first tutorial, so I hope you like it. Uh, so we're going to create a simple audio crossfader with pure data, I figured out. Um, by the way, I'm using PD Extended, but this patch may be also created with PD. Um, okay, first we need to open a new window patch. And we're going to create a horizontal slider. That's Control Shift H on Linux or PC or Command Shift H on Mac. And I'm going to right click on it to change its properties. And change the right value to 1. And apply OK. Now I'm going to create a number just to see the actual output of the slider. Uh, now we're going to put a message with value 1 and an object with a minus sign in it. This way uh, when we connect the number with the message and with the object and the message with the object again this way it will subtract one from the number above okay now I'm gonna put another number just to verify it So, we notice that the number above is a negative number, so we have to invert it, creating another message, and multiplying it by minus 1. Create another number just to verify the results there we go so um, if we duplicate the horizontal slider and connect it right here we can see we've got a crossfader now for the sake of testing it We're gonna create. Uh, we're gonna put this on a box, PD box. We're gonna call it PD Crossfade. Okay, in this window, we're gonna select uh, cut and paste. Uh, we're going to create a, an inlet and an outlet right over here. Okay. Now I've got our crossfade here. Um, we're going to connect the slider right on the inlet and create an oscillator with value 440. And uh, output signal. We're going to put another output signal just to make sure the noise is not too loud. 0 0.3 value. And our digital analog converter. We're going to connect here. 
this and now we're gonna duplicate the oscillator and create another frequency so we can distinguish the fader we're gonna put 293.66 that's I believe a uh, D tone Uh, so we're gonna connect uh, the crossfade to the first signal here and the slider to the second oscillator output. Then connect the signals to the second signal output. So we're ready to try it, and uh, there it goes. We can also create a toggle. input here so we can switch from 0 to 1 instantly and uh, a bang so I'm going to create another message with value 0 and connect it to both of the outputs here and then to the bang this way we can shut down both of the signals at the same time. So we're gonna try it. And uh, bang, message for off. So I think this is it, uh, hope you liked it.